What's up guys, welcome back. Some super rare, very expensive imported fishing tackle is about to go on sale guys and we're gonna try and get us some, stay tuned. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up. Okay y'all, so Devin is at work. I'm trying to surprise her with hopefully some new varial handles we've been looking at for quite some time. My buddy Jared told me DRT should be doing a drop. Their site is down right now, but when it goes live, it should have some varial handles, maybe different colors, and we've been wanting to get each a set for our tranks for so long. But when you get on eBay, here's a set on eBay going for almost $500. Here's another set going for $560, but they're gonna be available tonight for like $1.99, I believe. People grab these and mark them up like 200, 300% and just sell them used, and they're so hard to come by. So instead of spending $1,000, hopefully we can spend 400 and have some sick new handles, and I'm considering getting a Clash 9 as well. I just know it's gonna be a very large bill if I do that. So it's 9.14, Saturday, October the 24th, 9.14 p.m. <laughs> Guys, the site was like down all night last night, so it's the next day. It's literally 4.30 in the afternoon. We just saw it go live, and we're trying to order two sets of these handles. Devin is now behind the camera and knows everything, so there's no surprising here. But uh, we're looking forward to hopefully grabbing these things. Let me go ahead and fill out this information and get this order taken care of, and we're going to showcase these things for you guys. Stay tuned. There we go, y'all. Order confirmed. Two sets of these, but I'm, I don't know if we're out of the weeds yet because Jared has literally said DRT, their website crashes sometimes and like people have literally gotten refunded after they've checked out. In the past, I don't know how true this is, I'm just taking his word for it, He's, he knows a lot about DRT products because maybe multiple people had the items in the cart, purchased them all at the same time and whoever finished last gets kind of like cut out of the equation. So hopefully we got these things, man, we are so psyched. No way. Yeah, I mean, I dumped two. I had one of the two that was probably six plus straighten out the rear hook, trying to get them into the boat. Oh no. So there should be a tool inside of this bo box, I guess. It's over the real shaft. Oh yeah, there's more stuff in here. Oh yeah, there's like six washers in here. I am so pumped, guys. We literally just got these things out of the box. You saw the whole process. They feel ridiculous. Woo! bringing in that giant baby this is the working class zero knobs by the way guys you see us throw the working class zero baits on almost a daily basis in the videos lately oh yeah working class zero citizen right here and this is mike gilbert's collaboration with drt on these specific knobs right here that he wanted for a big firm grip so you're not fumbling around with the handles like on these guys here sometimes you crank them down on that reel and you lose yourself with these guys you got a better grip Whew, we're gonna tell you all about these things here in just a second. But I just got off the phone with Jared. He was telling me that I should have some washers in the packaging. Sure enough, I did. I opened up the little box inside of the box. Got a little instruction manual, if you would call it that. This is actually in English, thank goodness, because this is not DRT custom reel handle. This is kind of showing all the specs and everything. It's probably focused on my eyes. But yeah, that's uh, all in Japanese, so. That ain't gonna help me. I'm gonna show you how we install it, because I've never done it. I'm not even 100% on how to, so we're gonna learn together. And then we're gonna give it a little test feel and let you know our feedback, man. Hey, what are you doing? I'm filming the video talking about the handles. All right, so since I don't know the steps, we're just gonna go on blind. I found a very small flathead screwdriver. It looks like you could use a Phillips, but I couldn't find one small enough, and this one seems to work. Introduce y'all to my good buddy Craftsman. This is clean. All right, dudes. Look at that. Got a real set up with the varial handles. These are the 110 millimeters. That's clean, boys. So sick. All right, guys. So we just got the right handed installed on Devin's reel. And I'm going to show you the install process now that I've got it down on the left hander right here. This is going to be mine. So what I need is my small 
flathead screwdriver here. Loosen up this one screw on the side of your reel first. If you're dealing with the same reels that I am, I assume most of these reels have the same type of construction. But specifically for a Tranx 200, a fantastic swim bait reel, by the way. If you guys want to help support the channel, you can actually check the Amazon link down in the description to grab these Shimano's. We have them linked for you guys, and we earn a small commission when you do that. It helps us do things like purchase new handles to showcase for you guys in future videos. So we got that screw taken off. Now we take off this like it's, uh, rubber plastic. Anyways, we take that off. Hold on to it in case you ever want to put your standard handle back on, sell your varials or whatever. Whatever happens, happens. This is so sick. All right. I need that hexagonal washer out of here. All right, so now that I have got that one screw taken off of my Shimano Tranks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up this one 10 millimeter nut. You know what? I think because this is a left-hander, it's opposite, isn't it? Yeah, could have fooled me. So on left-handers, you gotta turn this thing to the right to get it to pop off. <laughs> Makes sense. The thing is with your drag, what I found is that you wanna actually keep, keep that drag pressed down. Because what happened to me on the right-hander is it kind of popped off and then you gotta realign it with a piece underneath. Mm, gotcha. So if there's a way to keep pressure on your drag and keep it pinned down while you uh, do the rest of these steps here, it'll make it a little bit easier. Where's my instructions? Okay, set hexagonal, boom. There's a, there's a little hexagonal shape deal in here. So you need these things to line up. So I'm thinking. So next step is to put this hexagonal washer. They wanna make sure that you put that piece in there to where it fits real nicely, that's the first step. And then if you put the handle on and it's already aligned, you're good to go. Now all we need is the left-handed Shimano nut, which is right here. So we've got four nuts that we ordered. So this is what confused us, and I actually went to some of y'all on the Swimbait Universe forum, so thank you guys so much for answering our questions. Different reels that you're purchasing this handle for, you have to purchase this nut with it that is gonna be the right size for not only this guy right here, but based on whether it's left-handed or right-handed. I believe a lot of these reels are either seven, eight, or nine millimeters, and I got some help from you guys on the forum on telling us which one we needed. There's only two options minus the left and right. So we went ahead and just got both because I think we ordered the wrong ones off the start. This is the Daiwa Abu Garcia nut, but it works for the Tranks 400. So we were like, okay, that's the one we need. Well, it turns out the nut size for the 200 is different. We are putting these on the Tranks 200. So they were saying you need the Shimano nut. It makes sense that you would need the Shimano nut, but the thing is, there's quite a, there's a handful of Shimano models that actually the Daiwa Abu one fits on and the Tranks was named as one of them. It was just the 400. All right, so I'm gonna hand tighten this nut here and then I'm gonna use that star tool that they include to tighten it down and that's literally all there is to it. There we go, so I'm holding everything down. All I gotta do is tighten this guy right here, which I think actually has to go to the left. It is no longer righty tighty lefty loosey, ladies and gentlemen. If you're going on a left hander, you gotta go backwards. All right, we are tightened down pretty good. Let me get that star tool. Okay, so this one is cranked down all the way, but it actually has a little bit of play. All right, so I've even got a little bit of play in this one too. So what that means is you actually need to install an additional washer. All right, backtracking. It says if there's play after you've installed it to go ahead and put one of these circle washers down before you put the hexagonal one down just to take up a little bit more space there. Let's tighten this down with one additional washer and see if that makes the difference. Otherwise, I see why they include extras. You've got a lot of options. We even got a very thin one, just to make sure there's no play after you get everything tightened up. Now let's see how we're feeling. Yeah, it's not, now it's not wiggling at all. So the right-hander doesn't have the additional washer yet, and you can see it wiggles. After that additional circle washer was put in before the hexagonal one though, now the left-handed one is nice and tight, no play. I'm wiggling it pretty good, and it's staying nice and firm. That's exactly what you want. No play, perfect. All right guys, that is gonna wrap things up for this video, but we're not finished yet. I wanted to do a quick recap and then tell you about how you can actually acquire some of these if you guys are in the market for something crazy like this because they are pretty dang sick and they do serve a purpose. So, with that being said, the quick rundown in case I lost you and tried to make things simplistic but overcomplicated it here and there, the steps are as follows. Grab you a little flathead, take off that screw, that is going to allow you to pull off that rubber or plastic piece. After you've taken off that plastic piece, you reveal a nut. It's like silver on those Shimano's. It is 10 millimeters. 
then that's gonna allow you to actually take off the handle. So the steps for us when installing, I use that larger circle washer first, add that hexagonal washer, pop that in place, and then you really just get that star nut and then you tighten it with the star key that is included. And so, yeah, that's really it. Bada bing, bada boom, the knobs already come pre-installed. Now, depending on which size handles you get, there's different knobs. So we specifically wanted the 110 millimeters. They do make a couple smaller sizes, but we wanted something a little bit larger and beefier for our bigger swim bait setups. And also, of course, these knobs with that perfect grip makes reeling a different experience entirely. And one of the major reasons why we actually purchased these was for growth on not only the channel, but also the Instagram page. So really an investment into the business essentially, because when I make these Instagram posts, oftentimes something just different and new that stands out like these right here, capture a lot of attention. They might get more engagement, whether that's likes, reach, impressions, uh, comments, etc. It actually helps growth on the Instagram page, which in turn makes us more valuable when working with brands. That could mean more income. And the same goes for here. If you guys drop likes on this video, it helps it get pushed out. Maybe you share this with a friend who's interested in these. They can take a look for themselves and with those views brings more income as well. So really it's an investment into the channel to provide you guys with some information on a product maybe you otherwise weren't able to find. So drop a like if you would on the video. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, a lot of what we do is bass fishing out here in Texas, but we also do a lot of traveling like a recent trip to Florida where we hit a ton of salt water, whether it was by kayak, boat out with the charter, or off the bank. We also have our own boat, do kayak videos, bank fishing, you name it. So if you're new, consider subscribing. And with that, where can you get these things? I actually just got on eBay on my phone and saw that there's a lot more available right now than ever before. So if you want to get some of these, go to eBay now. People don't have them priced too much higher than they actually were on the DRT's website. Last time I checked eBay, there was about two available. Right now, you've kind of got options on even the different sizes that they offer. Maybe you want a specific looking handle or you want the even like larger 117 millimeter size. All I'm saying is eBay has quite a handful right now and that is not the norm. So if you are interested in these, get over there and purchase some. I'm sure it's from that recent drop. People decided maybe they don't want them or they got it the wrong size or maybe they're trying to make some money. So go ahead and take advantage of that and get you a set. The last option is a Japanese auction website, which actually a few friends of mine have purchased them through. So I would would recommend that as well. It is buye.jp, I believe. So I'm going to put that down in the description. Take a look at that in case the ones on eBay are gone or you want a specific size that you couldn't find. You might be able to find them over there. Devin and I also plan on with the next working class zero drop switching out the knobs. There's some different colors. There's like an army green, there's white, there is lime green. So we're probably going to grab us a couple sets of each to just mess around. And we might even put these on different reels over time since we got those separate nuts. There's two nut options like I mentioned. So make sure you get the right one specifically for your reel. They have a size chart on the website, but some reels aren't displayed. So just maybe search the forums and see what is right for your setup. With that being said, y'all, this is going on our dedicated swim bait setup with the St. Croix Mojo Bass swim bait rod, Tranks 200 reel with 20 pound fluorocarbon. If you guys want to check it out, links down in the description. I think that covers everything, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end. We'll catch y'all on the next episode. Peace out. <laughs>